convido a todos a colocar de pé. Stand up. We're going to open our Bibles in the, in the book of Revelations, chapter 4. Revelations, chapter 4, first verse. And the word says, And after these things, I looked, and behold, a door standing open in heaven. And the first voice which I heard was like a trumpet speaking with me, saying, Come up here, and I will show things which must take place after this. Just this verse, we will be praying. Dear God, we want to thank you, glorify your name for this period, for this uh, period of songs, for period of deliverance, and that your Lord can speak to our hearts through your, through your words. We do it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Please be seated. Uh, the songs tonight spoke especially speak specially about the church about the return of Jesus the call of Jesus to the church and the book of Revelations they show all that it's a book it's a special book for the servant for the church and only those who only understand that book are the servant of the Lord for many for many it's a book that It scares you, but the objective of the Lord for the life of the servants is to reveal the return of Jesus, the rapture of the church through this book. And John, John was captivated, incarcerated in the island of Batman. He had approximately 96 years old. He was 96 years old. He was at the end of his life. He was uh, old, gray hair, but God, but God gives him an opportunity, a big opportunity, for him to see the mysteries of God being being prepared to His church. Bless me, the name. What does that book mean? The book of Revelation, and what's the object of this book? It's to reveal those servants, the time, the time, the time of, of Jesus uh, receive his, his bride, which is the church, the beloved church, and the word, and the word is clear in regards to all the signs, everything that Lord allowed for John to hear and see in eternity. And all that uh, point now to the to, to the ship which is Jesus, to the Lamb which is Jesus. Even the verse that we say, it says, and the first voice which I heard, which was like the trumpet speaking with me, the first door showing that Jesus was the only Savior, the only Deliverer, that one that will take our lives to the eternity. Bless be the name of the Lord. And we can. Uh, we can do we can do it each day to plead for this call to wish to desire for this call our our objective our trials we see that the prophecies are coming through among us the gifts that the Lord has shown us the clear gifts showing the prophetic moment that we live it's a moment that that we have many many trials. A moment that us as servants to be alert for that moment, for this prophetic moment, moment, the Holy Spirit 
has been a that the love of many will 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 cool off will cool off a little bit. Worse, the world going worse each day. But the Holy Spirit at, any, at, at every moment alerts the church, awakens the church for her not to sleep, for, for her not to sleep, to be alert, to be attentive, because this prophetic moment is coming through every day in our lives, every moment in our life. It's a moment of the church. It's a moment of the servant, the, the brethren, that each day they can, uh, uh, can awake each day not to uh, to continue to be alert and not to let the love for Christ cool off but we have to be we have to fire this fire lit this fire because the prophecies are coming through and it's our desire to hear this voice call my name your name so we can so we can meet the Lord in the eternity. Bless me the name of the Please.
Amen. Glory, Jesus. Glory, Jesus. I greet all with the peace of the Lord. The Lord showed some gifts to uh, some visions, and it showed that some families that entered in a church, they met an angel, and the angel, the angel would, do, would make those families see the situations, the situation of the house of each one of us, and when we and when we saw how our houses were were looking, we, uh, we realized that there was a lot of insecurity in our houses. Some doors, windows, some lockers. They were they were not they were not they were not locked. The windows were. The windows were not safe enough. Uh, giving easy access to uh, thieves to go in. And the, the Lord showing the moment to be alert. We have to be at this, at this moment. Before the return of Jesus, we cannot be caught unprepared. We cannot accommodate we we'll have to be each day to use what the Lord has given us and to the way to show this is to, is to take care of what we have in a spiritual way our houses, our windows our doors everything that comes makes things come in so we we'll have to be alert make the, adjust, the necessary adjustments open our hearts to the Lord the show the Lord showing us that some there's some cracks you know there's there's uh, improvements to be done so let's let's seek the direction of the Lord because he knows what's best for us and the Lord also showed that that during the, the songs the Lord's sent it was an oil oil man that was working on a vase an oil man that in this vase was being redone and this vase was this uh the way the, the reason why this vase was being reworked is because there were some cracks and then when you put this vase against the sun against the light you could see the cracks and uh, that was it was made that necessary that that vase was made the word says that in lucas 8 Look, look, because there's nothing hidden that that cannot be manifested. Not even hidden that cannot be come to the light. And the Lord showing that there are failures in our lives. There, we are subject to failures. We, to be, we all have our weaknesses, our limitations. But for the Lord to help us overcome this we have to seek in the Lord what's to take the vase to the light it's to seek the help in the Lord it's to confess to, to the Lord our sins our transgressions as, our, as we always do when we confess to him he forgives us and he strengthens us he capacitates us to overcome the sin there's no way to go get away from the scene but the remain on the scene is a mistake it's a it's a moral it's a vital mistake this uh, this peace being remade is when we when we seek the lord when we ask for help the lord blesses yes and the lord also show another gift that we were like we were walking in the forest in the, in the middle of the forest and it was getting dark it, it, you know it's getting dark and, uh, and we had to go through the another side of the forest but to do that it, 
we had to cross a bridge to, to get on the other side of the forest. The interesting thing is that the bridge was very inclined and some were scared to go and, and look at, you know, at the bridge and, you know, go up and look down. They were scared, but the ninja was sent to help us to, and, and to say that the reason why the bridge was like that inclined was because it was, it was, a, was a purpose of the Lord because we'll be will be away from the dangers. Some were scared, you know. But interesting that when you were crossing, when you cross the bridge, you know, no. but when you see a, when you, you go a bridge and it's high, you don't see the other end. So you don't see the other end. Because our, our walk is through the faith. We're not, we're not here to see the end because we know what the end will be. The end, our end will be with the presence of the Lord. That's why I walk. Our walk is it, it's, it's based it's on trust on the Lord, practicing our faith, practicing what we say, living what we live, what we preach. But it's preach what we live. The Lord, when He called Abraham, come and I'm gonna, I'm gonna take you to another land that you've never seen. So He went by the faith, and our walk is what, like that, by the faith, by the faith we will overcome, by the faith we will get there on, on the, by the faith will, the Lord will conduct us to be victorious. Let's uh, stand up, Let's hear a song.
Trevor with a glorification in the name of the Lord. Bless you because you're anxious for this moment, Lord. We praise the Lord because there's not going to be a place. There's not going to be any pain. We praise the Lord for the promise of the salvation. Because one day, service and adoration of your name. We glorify you, Lord, for the songs, for the prayers that have been made, for the intersections that have been made, because we trust in your power. We glorify you, Lord, for the gift, the spiritual gifts, for the direction of your Holy Spirit, and knowing, Lord, that tonight you are operating and renew you are operating in our minds, in our hearts, taking all the doubts, all the all the tiredness, the sadness, and the uncertainties, and giving us the access to your presence, that your word stay in, can stay in each heart, and the Holy Spirit has the freedom to be continue to testify to show you the directions to where we are going, which is the salvation in Jesus. Receiving our songs, our adorations, and the adoration that we do in the name of Jesus. And in your name, we say the wonderful grace of our Jesus and Savior, the love of God, our eternal Father, the sweet consolations of the Holy Spirit to be poured upon us now and forever. Amen. Please be seated. You can sit, Steve. You're a good man. This month, we are praying for the pastors, unguins, and family. So please be interceding for the ministry so the Lord can capacitate each pastor, each person, so that can always be a direction of the Holy Spirit above all. Because the ministry, when it's it's totally turned to the Jesus, the Lord, the, the sheep is, is blessed. The hurdle is blessed. The brethren pray for the pastor so the, the Lord can operate in the Lord. Next week, next week is the fasting starting Monday let's stop let's continue to pray for the the church constructions has it started or not yes it started it started it's full force we made the first payment we made the deposit now the documents being signed everything's being signed it's been ordered. We ordered some materials already. Yes. Now it's just to continue to work. Just to. Amen. Please continue to pray for this new, for this new work. This new. This year, the vigil is going to be there. Hopes in the name of the Lord. Amen. The, 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 the youth event that's going to be this week, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's being postponed to the other week. So the youth event that was going to be next week will be moved to a, 
to another another week or so. Yes. So we'll we'll do it. We'll program a date, and we'll let you guys know. Yes. Anything else? No. No. For now, there's no dates. Yes, for the youth event. Yes, suspended. We're gonna have a seminar in June. It's gonna be in Boston. Or it's gonna be in Connecticut. So please, as soon as we have the date, the place, we'll we'll tell the brethren so those who want to go to be placed. Yeah, young people will have to. Yes. Yeah, let's uh, seek for the your partners here. Father, that the parents that invest in the kids' wedding. Yes, it's for what? Yes. Yeah. Invest in it. Let's go. Amen. Peace the Lord. Tomorrow at 10:30. Yeah, we're gonna have a meeting with the the teachers at 10. Amen. Peace the Lord. Amen, Steve. You're a good man. You can come down now. Stop playing around, Steve.